Hello, Grade 6, and welcome to this weekly breakdown. So, for this week, we are going to continue the lesson classification systems. Last week, we started with classifying organisms. We found out what species are, which is a group of similar organisms that can mate with each other and produce offspring that can also mate and reproduce. And then we decided that species are classified into groups based on their similarities. And we started by the Linean Naming System. After we classified them and we went down the taxonomy levels, we decided that we only take the genus name and we give them a binomial nomenclature. So genus is a group of similar closely related organisms and binomial nomenclature, there are two parts, the scientific name that indicates its genus and species. After the Linean Naming System, we classified the organisms using taxonomy, which is the scientific study of how organisms are classified. For this week, we are going to talk about their growth and their nutrition, their domain, and we divided the domain into Echoria, which is the kingdom of plants, animals, and fungi, and a less familiar kingdom, Protistia, and then we will move to Archaea, which is a group of one cellular organisms with no nuclei in their cells and then we will talk about bacteria and the other domains after that we will talk about the binomial nomenclature which is the two the first two words in an organism's scientific name it's genus and species so we will uh, learn how to name uh, some of these species according to their binomial nomenclature we will also talk about their scientific names. We will uh, learn how they, they name them based on Latin names. And we will uh, search up a few examples of these animals. We're going to talk about evolution, which is the process of change over time. We will understand what is the process of evolution. We will start by knowing that we all come from a common ancestry which is evolution by natural selection and we will also talk about evolutionary relationships how is evolution relationship how is evolution related to each other and then we are going to answer a few questions as usual by using online exams and we will uh, do a lot of fun activity we will watch a lot of simulations and we will read a lot of articles and assess our knowledge by also answering questions from the book and online quizzes and for this week we are going to have a lab so please do not forget your lab codes for this week thank you very much